Me School is highly unique. It is an outstanding special school and it has a specialism of speech language communication needs. And we're the only school that's just primary age range. That's all we deal with. We just have primary children. We look after primary children's curriculum, primary children's social needs. Speech and language therapy is the real core of the school. It's all about speaking, listening and understanding. We look at the child's learning, cognitive levels, speech and language. The child is not seen in isolation, the child is seen holistically. The children here make outstanding progress because they are happy in their work, engaged in the activities and the teaching and they learn, so they make the maximum progress. Birthday, dear Ella. Ella's baby was born without any issues. And she developed into a very happy little toddler. But at that stage, at around two years, we did notice that she was really only speaking in single words rather than complete sentences. She started the mainstream school and probably for the first three to six months she was, she was okay. And then she became increasingly quiet and withdrawn. She just didn't know what was going on. And that's just heartbreaking. We first came across the Meath. We were recommended by our educational psychologist. The school was fantastic, lovely, happy environment. And I could see Eleanor there and I could see the support that they give them. And then I think I walked away from that going, she has to go to that school. We have one speech and language therapist in every class, which is great because it means that we're able to work really closely with the children. The speech and language therapists work very closely with teachers and support staff. That collaborative working means that teachers are able to inform us, we are able to inform the teachers. Some of our children don't have a voice that's adequate for them. They have the ideas, but they don't have the speech to give you their ideas. Can I have milk straw, please? Good boy, you can have a Everybody's really encouraged to use signing in the playground, in the dining room, definitely in the classrooms, definitely in the speech language therapy rooms. We've got just the most amazing staff. A lot of them have been in this profession for a long time, so we've got a massive bank of knowledge. We've got a dedicated team of speech language therapists, we've got an occupational therapy department, a nurse, we've got care staff. The children often come in feeling quite shy, not being confident, and they go out as confident and successful communicators. The best moments, are those real sort of yes moments, are when the children spontaneously come up with something that you've been working on. Good boy. We look after the whole child, and so there's the learning inside the classrooms is really important. We have to fit children to go into a workforce later on in their lives. But also there's the other part of the child, which is about having friends, having fun, being responsible, problem solving. So all of those areas are, are part of a child's learning. We are lucky to have a residential team that work here and they can look after the child overnight. So we offer um, the overnight opportunity to children, which we call a sleepover. For our children, if they don't have friends at home because of the language barriers, they don't get to do sleepovers, so they just feel different and a little bit isolated. So if we offer them that opportunity here, they love it. Good night, see you in the morning. It was actually a very short period of time that we started to see results. She suddenly became smiley and happy again and more confident. And I think the thing with the Meath is that it it feels like the best place for Eleanor. It feels like it's unlocking the best that she can be. And that's, that's all I can ask for, really. OK, thank you, Eleanor. Well done. They have a thing called the Meath's Got Talent, and it's, it's a, a little talent show. The kids, the teachers, everyone joins in. And Eleanor was up sta on the stage singing and dancing, and I was sort of sat there. It was just a wonderful moment to see her that comfortable in an environment where she felt she could go up on stage and sing and dance. Um, I was sort of very 
tearful. <laughs> um, it, it was a wonderful thing. That was a real defining moment. If you have a child that's got speech-language communication as the major problem, then you really need to look here to see what we offer.